All right, today is IKEA day. So much inspiration. I'm not getting everything from IKEA, but I do have a lot of essentials that I'm going to get. And I'm excited to just be in the store and like see how things fit, maybe give me color inspiration, that kind of stuff. So anyways, I'm about to take the train there. I have a list of things I'm looking for. I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy everything or if I'll like see it and then come home and buy it online and then have it shipped to my door or what, we'll see. But I definitely need to grab a couple things. Like I don't have knives and I'm gonna cook dinner tonight. So time to get moving, <laughs> keep furnishing this home. So one thing that I think is really important in small spaces is measuring. Measuring is super important. So like this is my only drawer in the kitchen. So that's where I'm gonna have to put my silverware and it's tiny. I don't know if it'll even fit a, like a drawer organizer. So I have to make sure whatever I buy fits there. Another example. So there's the bathroom floor. There's not much space. I wanna have a rug right there, but it's gotta fit perfectly. I don't wanna like come up on the sides there. I'm measuring things out. I'm putting in a note in my iPhone. I have a long list of things I need, but I'm sure I'm gonna be making multiple trips there. So it's not like this, this doesn't have to be the end all be all Ikea trip. All right, let's go. too much like like I didn't buy frames and stuff like that because I'm like I don't know exactly what I want anyways I'll show you guys real quick 99 cent mat floor mat so like it's not for forever but great for now pillow for my sister it's gonna match on my couch perfectly these cute little planners and then this is a fake plant they have lots of nice fake plants but uh let me make sure this is recording so they have lots of nice fake plants, but I want real plants, so I only bought one. Knife set. It's nice and black and it has a holder, 20 bucks. Three knives. Oh my god. This three pack of vases. I don't know if you can see. There's one, two, three. There's cylinders. $15, I think. Woo! I'm so excited to have some of these things. Uh, so nice. Coffee press. This was nine dollars. Seems like good quality. Uh, and so this is for like a two p. If someone else is here with me in the morning, because I have my small little mocha thing. Oh, it's a tea light holder. See, pretty, right? Loving the gold. So I decided on having lots of plants. And light pink is one of the theme colors in my room. So how pretty is that? Look at that. So three of the colors of like the theme here are gonna be olive green, light pink, and then there's gonna be lots of black, gold, and white accents and pink. Little whiskey glasses, they're, they're like, the quality, I think these were $3 or $2. The quality is pretty good. It doesn't feel like, you know, crystal, but pretty good. I've got two of them. I didn't want to get like sets of four of so many things because it's just me and sure I'll have people over but like we can mix and match so that way I get lots of glasses that I like. So same with this. I did um, two of these. I think these were a dollar or two. 
and so the little wine glasses. I did two, so I decided to get two of each of these, and then I thought if I love them, I'll get two more to have four to set. If not, I'll get like different rocks glasses, different wine glasses. Ooh, these bins were really cool. Uh, this, I don't know if you can see how lovely this mint color is. And then they have, oh, I got a tool, tool set, $10. Everyone's gotta have a tool set, so it's got what you need in there. And then I also bought, because I'm gonna buy some Ikea furniture or just other furniture I assemble myself, I thought I should have a drill. So the drill was 15 which I didn't want to spend, but um, I figured I should have it around the house. I'm gonna need it, so you gotta buy it. So this is another one of the bins, and they both have lids. And I just figured, it, you know, they're so cute, and it goes with the color of my kitchen, and, you know, just for paper, or you, you need storage stuff, you know. This one might have been $6, and the other one might have been like 5 or $4. And I think, I think this one, it said last call, so whatever, they might be going out of production soon. Oh, very exciting, I got trash cans. Okay, we're not doing trash cans yet, all right. Little candle. I don't, it's, I think it's like a papaya smell. I think it'd be nice in the kitchen if I wanna feel tropical. White plant holder. So I know they all these come together so nicely. It's so funny because a lot of the stuff I'm buying, I remember buying similar but different stuff to Ikea like eight, ten years ago. So this is a little lantern for tea lights. And I have a Cambodian one that'll match well with it. So this I want to say was like $4, maybe. Maybe. Alright, so that's that bad. Okay, there, here's a, a toilet brush cleaner. But I like that it's black because it matches my bathroom and I think it was two dollars or eight off, maybe maybe nine nine cents. White towel cloth. It's a little carafe. Is that what you call it? Carafe? Um I figure maybe for like iced tea so I can like brew some tea, pour it in here, have iced tea for later. And that one was maybe like, I don't know, five I'm making it prices now. Some of them I remember. I love all the names. This is Corkin. Corkin. I don't know what I'm gonna put in there, but I figure I'd put something. And the moment you've all been waiting for the trash cans. <laughs> Why are you showing these trash cans? I do a lot more recycling than regular. So this is the recycling. This is for just like compost. <laughs> compost, it's not compost, it's going in the trash, but just anything that's not recycling. All right. Let me just say, these trash cans make me really happy. And after just having bags sitting in there for a week, it feels really nice to open it up and it's all organized. It's like Christmas. So exciting. I got one cutting board, I think it was $3. I really want wood ones, but I thought I'd wait and get like pretty ones that are like a matching set thing. This guy just spoke to me. I don't know, I just, I never thought I'd buy something like this, but I just thought it'd be, you know, just a reminder of the body and like put them in different poses and then remind me just like move my body and be grateful for my body. I don't know if anyone else overthinks the little figurine so much, but I do and I like it. Two little corks that are a coaster. I'll get cool coasters later, but for now, now I have some. There's stuff I saw there and I'm just like, oh, I never thought of that, but like, Look at this, is, I'll put like fruits and vegetables that don't need to go in the fridge and they could just hang. That way they don't have to be on the on the counter. So I think these are for kids. There's all this like kid plastic furniture, but I just really like the colors. See the colors? Like my, my kitchen theme is like kind of retro. So there's lots of like mint and there'll be, a, I want a yellow bistro table. So these may or may not match. I think I'll keep them, I'm not sure. But I like that they're kind of whimsical and I feel like they would make me smile when I use them. Pizza cutter, I think it was 99 cents. Potato peeler, I think this was maybe three dollars. Frother, I've never seen a hand frother, and I think this was two dollars or three dollars. I saw mine that had milk, like a um, metal carafe, and so you put your milk in there and you foam it. But they didn't have it there. But I'll buy it online. But how nice! I can make a little. Not latte, but make foamy milk for my 
foamy almond milk for my coffee. I'm getting really tired right now. Another one of these, and we're almost to the end. Okay, uh, soap dispenser for the bathroom. The lid of my toilet is black, and then I just thought I'm gonna go with matte black for the rest of the bathroom, and then I think I'm gonna do some like pops of color with other color, but this can match my toilet. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get a uh, matte black like rods and stuff like that. And lastly, scissors, I don't have scissors. If you wanna know how crazy my brain is, I, you know, you know what, okay. Usually it would be like this big thing. So I looked at the scissors and I was like, I don't really want these scissors. I'm gonna wait and get scissors that I really want. And I'm like, hey lady, you just need scissors. You don't have to overthink them. And buy the best scissors in the world that are like cute and are cut the best and all that. I'm like, it's four dollars. Just buy the scissors. If you want better scissors, <laughs> she's crazy. Um, if I want better scissors or different scissors at some point, I can gift these to someone. So that, this was the only thing I really overthought, but I was really proud of myself with everything else that I was just like, ooh, this speaks to me. I want it, I'll get it. <laughs> and then a lot of other stuff I had already been thinking about. So when I was like, oh, I saw all the black, I was like, perfect, I want black. And then when I saw all the cute gold things, I'm like, I want cute gold things in my living room. So I'm very proud of myself. I'm proud of what I spent. I'm proud that I didn't overthink I'm very excited that these are all things that I love and um, I love that they're so affordable. I'm all about Ikea and I had a great time there by myself so... Oh, so I forgot to mention, I joined this group called Buy Nothing on Facebook. Maybe you've heard of it. Someone told me about it. My sister. Someone. I don't know. And there's, they do it for neighborhoods and I don't think it's just New York. I think it's like all over the U.S. And so basically, like, people just list, list stuff for free. Of course, there's, like, free Craigslist, too, and stuff. But this just made me, like, oh, I don't have to be so careful about my decisions because if I buy something that's right for now, and in six months I decide it's not right for me, there's probably someone else who would love to have this for free. So I'm not, like, all willy-nilly about everything, but I am, uh, it, it does give me a little grace that not everything has to be like a forever item or like a next four years item. So yeah, check it out if you um, wanna like be more sustainable and gift people and receive things. Oh, okay, I'll just say, <laughs> if, if, I, if this somehow turned into a video, then uh, like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos and I had a home tour, empty home tour, if you want to check that out. And I'll see you later. <laughs> Sound like a weird PBS show. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, let's just take a second to appreciate this design. It's a knife holder and it looks like a paper airplane. And it has these beautiful matte black knives. I didn't want to spend the $20 on them. <laughs> it must be so cheap. They have $10 options there. So I was like, I don't want to spend 20, but I wanted the holder. And now I'm so glad I did. And I'm like, uh, it's worth 20, 20 bucks. Hello. So there she is. She's a beauty.